Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty Hello, close to an ideal to evening match. for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. Again, the world now. and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these... He's had a goal! Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Mbappe did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Bass tries to get it forward quickly. Hernandez positions himself well and cuts it out. Pogba. And here's Griezmann, and it's Ravio cut out in the nick of time. Marla, Hoiberg, Delaney, out to the right. Poulsen will try cutting inside here, and he's cut it out. Can he deliver? He gets past his man. Real chance! Oh, no shot. He's gone for it! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Kunde. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, both sides seem happy with the patient approach for now, still trying to have a good look at one another. Benzema. Benzema still live. Meets it first time. It's off target and by quite a way. Delaney. Denmark have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Uh, needed a better pass there. And here's Benzema. Vass gets into the right position to intercept. Hoiberg. Mahler plays it forward. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Mbappe. Pogba. Well played, he saw that coming. Bass. Plenty of endeavour from either side, but not much of it in the vicinity of either goal. Yeah, those longer balls forward are definitely having more of an impact, something that should have been resorted to before now. Jensen, and it's Heuberg. And now the breakaway. Hernandez. Conte. Rafael Baran. Rabio. Hoiberg. He's being closely tested here.
Pogba. Mbappe. Mbappe really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Hoists it forward. Vass cuts it out. Hoiberg. Mbappe. A real chance to break. Benzema. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Hoiberg. Vass. He's found his man. Got a sight of goal here. Goes looking. Mbappe. Going to run down the left wing. Griezmann! Oh, wow! An absolute pile driver. A finish of true class. That has brought the house down. What a wonderful hit. Well, the technique generates the power in that situation. And once power is assured, any goalkeeper is up against it. Just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Mbappe. Benzema. Too much on it. And that's the keepers. Keeper sends it forward. What a throw in. Conte. And it's Griezmann. Kante pings it out wide. France are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. And here's Rabio. Marla. Delaney. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1 0. Maurice deals with it effortlessly. Marla. Throw it. Hoiberg, Delaney, good challenge, he just stood firm, oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one, just the talking to I think, yes it is, Kick. 
Berg. Turns and goes back. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Griezmann. The freeze had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has Please only been that one change. goal. It, it is, is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. France leading 1 0 at the break. Substitution for Denmark. Number 20. Here we go again. Coming on A the solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Number 10. Christian Eriksen. Rabio. It's the through ball. It's a brilliant interception. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And it's played forward. Thus. Riesman proves too strong there. Hoiberg. Plays it out to the wing. Gets away from his opponent. Denmark get it back again. Hoiberg. Jensen, Hoiberg, Vass, has it out wide, towering header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. That had to be more accurate. Hoiberg. Across the field it goes. Jensen. Vass is charging up on the overlap. Hernandez. Kunde. Rafael Varan. Benzema. Forward it goes. Belts one. Oh, the ball's come loose. Oh, real danger here. Just brushed off the ball there. And now they can launch a counter. And here's Benzema. Nicely measured pass. And the counter. And the finish. And yes, it's there. This is getting better and better. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really the commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Number nine, Mbappe. France have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? for this match was 81,007. Baran gets it back. Jensen. Hoiberg. Bass. Gets the better of his man. Poulsen. Has a pop! Hoists it forward. And on the back foot. Rabio plays it forward. Now it's Benzema. Mbappe. Mbappe! Oh, great save. Real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Substitution for Denmark. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Goalkeeper's ball. Coming on to replace him is number 
Hoiberg. Tulsen. And through to the goalkeeper. Bass. Here it comes. Oh, good interception. Has a pop! I really don't think he could expect anything. Shut it goal! They finish! Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. a game here I think they can sense a comeback here and so can this crowd it's all systems go now Denmark uh, keeping their men at arm's length here yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard Mbappe that's hard So 2-1 now, and things have got a whole lot more enthralling here. Yeah, this is a real psychological test now that will tell us whether one side buckles and the other kicks on. That is Conte. Rafael Varane. Griezmann. Rabio. He's had a look. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. And it's played forward. Varane tries to get it forward quickly. France are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Eriksen battles to win it back. Rabiot drives it forward. Should have put that one away. Mbappe was totally aware of how that chance could have impacted on the game, and that should have gone in. Tulsen. Going through. Lofted into the middle. Denmark are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. It's wrestled off the ball. He's caught him there, it's a free kick. Benzema. He'll try from distance. Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. Mal. France just have to run down the clock. Vass goes looking. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, so hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate Number his efforts 19. because he has put in a real honour shift. Pavar. Coming on the field is... Number 14. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. That was hard. Benzema. Mbappe. Now a chance to break. He came in hard, very hard. And it's Pogba. Hernandez. That'll be a throw. There will be one minute added time. Griezmann. Olsen, Eriksen, added time is up, and there goes the whistle. France come out on top, hard fought, impossible to predict.
In the end, though, only the result mattered. Your final thoughts, Jim?